Hey guys, in this video, let's see how you can generate random numbers in an easy way. Now to do this, all you have to do is simply import the random module. Using this module, we can achieve what is needed to generate random numbers. Now how do I do it? For this, I will use the module name and then you have to put a dot. There are multiple different options available, okay? Random integer, random range, a lot of lot of things available. So here, just for our use case, I am going to use the method rand integer. And it has got two different options. You can provide two different numbers, start and end. For example, I am going to print between, let's say, 10, comma, and 20. Okay? So what is what would happen if I am going to write print here? And at the end, I am going to put a parenthesis. Now let's save this and run it. So what is happening? Every time you run, it is going to print some random numbers. You can see it here. Okay. So the random numbers are getting printed. Now let's say what would happen if I am going to type something like, let's say 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So I am putting some number here like this. And then I'm putting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, some 9, 9, 10 times like this. Now, if I am utilizing this random int, you can see every time it appears like more like a phone number, right? You know, it is generating random numbers every time you run it. There's also another use case which I think will be useful. For example, um, I will create a list here. And in the list, I have got multiple different uh, fruits, let's say. So, for example, I am saying the first fruit is orange, comma. Uh, the second fr fruit is, let's say, apple, and uh, comma. And then the third fruit is, let's say, banana. And then the next fruit, let's say, grapes. Okay. So now let's say I have to choose one of this fruit out of this random list uh, from the list. Then all I have to do is there is another method with random module that is called random dot choice. Okay. Random dot choice. And all you have to do is simply pass the choice. Let's say you have to select any one person out of the all an entire list. So using this function, I'll be able to print a random, uh, you know, content from the list so you can see if i run it here the values are changed randomly it is picking one of them all right so i think these are the two things which will be pretty useful to you so thought of sharing thank you guys for watching if you have any further questions or any additional requirement please do let me know in the comment section thank you bye bye